Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. We're going to be doing the Anomaly mission tonight. Plus, there's going to be a little bit of talking, a little bit of news tonight in regards to some upcoming events. Now, one thing you're not going to see from me this weekend is a live stream. I'm going to be doing a live stream next weekend. Uh, we're going to skip this weekend and give me just a little bit of a break after the four or five I did that last weekend. So we're going to hold off on that. But we're just going to focus on the anomaly today, and we're going to talk a little bit while we're doing said anomaly. We're going to talk about upcoming uh, upcoming things, a little bit of news, and what's happening in No Man's Sky. So first things first, I'm in the anomaly already. And, uh, well, you know, I've already got my multi uh pardon me multiplayer turned on but as you can see there's nobody here at the moment but let's just give it a couple of moments and you're going to see some other people popping up here in just a moment so let's go ahead and get this thing going yep see here's somebody right there i don't even know where in the world his uh, ship was from very nice very nice quite the legend there sir so let's see what's going on here we got the delectable domestication is what this is called. So we've got to tame wild creatures again. Fortunately, it doesn't look like we are actually gathering poop or anything like that. So, oh, wait a minute. Untamable pallets. Let's try that. Untamed pallets. Nope, same thing. They just renamed it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Repair kits, 1800 quicksilver. Let's go ahead and initialize and start the mission. And hopefully nobody will be joining us. All right. So, if you're wondering if somebody has joined your mission, what you can do is you can go into your escape menu, check your options, go to your network, and you can see if there's a current group. You'll see if there's anybody else in here. Now, I'm going to show you something real quick for anybody who wants to be a friend. There is my friend code for anybody who wants it. So, that is the first thing I'm going to mention in my description of this video. Friend code is now present. You'll see I'm already friends with several people. Uh, got Captain Richard up there too for anybody who watches that. I'm already on the Jason Plays run here. And I got a few others that are actually just close friends of mine that I am friended up with, if you will. So there is that. We're back out of there and let's get out of here and move on. All right. Now I'm going to keep an eye on the audio. I had to adjust the audio to the game just a little bit ago, so it shouldn't be too, too loud. It doesn't look like it is. Yeah, it's running a little low, I think. We may want to increase that here in just a minute. So let's see what system it takes us to. And then we're going to get moving. Un we've got a team wild creatures, so I'm going to need a lot of uh, creature pellets. I guarantee it's going to be like at least in the 20s. Probably like 25 of them or something like that. The Ladine system. Discovered by Stu. Well, thank you very much, Stu, Stu for discovering the system. All right, yeah, enough of that. Fauna Dense Planet located. Okay, very good. I just want to see where it's located at. Looks like it's to my right. But before we go anywhere, back to the menu. Let's get this music and volume turned up just a little bit. I'm going to get it up to about 75 on both. I think that'll be good. There we go. Apply. And exit. That should help a little bit. All right, let's get back to where we were. Looks like we're going to this little planet here. Let's scan it since we've never discovered it before. And it is a viridescent, oh yay, aggressive sentinels. Just what we already always wanted. Now you notice, uh, let me just jump in here real quick, make sure I've got, that's my starship. Let's go to my exosuit. i got all kinds of crap in here I need to get rid of from the last one. Uh, do I have creature pellets? Yes, I do. I'm going to make a few more. There we go. You'll notice that it has not only aggressive sent sentinels, but it has activated indium. So if you're looking for indium, folks, and you haven't been able to get to a blue planet because you're new to the game and you're not able to get any, well, this is the system for you. Do a little scouting and try the other planets to see if maybe you can find yourself a little bit of uh, uh, a regular indium to start with, because that'll help you build up some drives and stuff like that. So it's always a useful element. Plus, if you put it in your refiner, especially the activated, you get a 4 to 1 ratio of getting chromatic metal. Pardon me, the other way around, 1 to 4 ratio. So for every one activated indium, you get 4 chromatic metal. That's a really big, big deal. So anyway, let's take a peek around here. Looks like we can land anywhere we want, but keeping in mind that sentinels are going to attack on sight. So it looks like this one is going to be a lot of fun. Let's see, is there any places I can park? There's a place over there, but it doesn't seem to be as close as I think it is. Three seconds, two seconds. Let's see what this is. 
Oh, yeah, that's great. I want to park there with a bunch of sentinels already there. They'll be attacking that. Well, they won't attack me on sight. Those particular ones won't, but others will. And that'll just make a big, big mess, so... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Someone's already attacking? Looks like somebody ticked off... So oh, somebody tried to take off the planet. They were fighting sentinels, and the sentinels now are attacking them. That is hilarious. So that's another thing you can know. If you decide you want to escape from the sentinels, and they've already got, a, got the bead on you... Yeah, you can't really just leave. Uh, this looks like an abandoned one, I think. Yes, it is. I got smoke. Okay. Let me just see if there's anything else around. Nope, oh, there is. Another building over here. Let's see if it's got a landing pad. No? Wow, everybody's ticking off the sentinels. You know what that means? Why don't we help some people out? What do you say? You know what that means? It means if I can land here, and I take out the sentinels myself, they don't have to worry about the sentinels anymore on the planet. Let's go ahead and take them out, shall we? So, Sentinel Battle ensues. This is going to be a little longer episode than we thought. Let me check my... Let's see, which weapon is currently in the slots? Uh, looks like we got the Bolt Caster in there, so... Neutron... Brain... Bolt Caster. Okay, we're all set. Yeah, I already know that. Oh, good grief. Say it again. There we go. Hi there. I'm not going to mess with you guys. I'm not taking it to any other levels here. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Bunch of Sentinels erased. Let's take them all out. All right, so we are going to get them in whatever direction we're facing. So let's go this way. Let's see how many we can erase. Oh, that was a great aim there. Okay. Okay, anybody else? Anybody else? No, not yet. I don't care about the, about the pods, to be honest with you. Let's get up to the top of the hill. I am king of the mountain. Yeah? Uh, I've just about erased your entire elite, elite sentinel force. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm not even trying to dodge them at this point, because I know they can't take me out. <laughs> so let's just take care of these guys. Alright, maybe I'll make it a little more interesting, move around a little bit. What do you think? Already took all of them out. You don't even know where it's coming from. Alright, buddy. Bye. Who's next? How about a little Duke Nukem in the middle of all this, eh? Remember, everybody remember that? I'm get some. Gone. Who's next? Anybody? No? Nobody else wants to play? Come on. Who's next? Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Another one. Take out the walker.
And we're done. Who's shooting at me? I miss somebody? Now we're done. That should take care of it, everybody. Everybody should be free to roam the planet. Sentinels are disabled. All right. Don't forget to get both brains. All right, we're done with these guys. All right, so well, we can go feed some animals at our leisure. Leisure, yes. Uh, let's take a quick peek around. So we've got a couple animals. Let's see an animal over there. We've got some flying animals, but we need some ground-based ones. Those look more like flying animals than anything else, but I'll take a look. Yeah, and uh, by the way, now you can gather up those gravitino balls to your heart's content because nobody's going to attack you. All right. So if I'm not mistaken, I think... See, is it five, six, seven? That was it, seven. Yeah, I'll put it down there for you guys. So all we need to do is tame wildlife creatures. 36 of them, huh? You guys aren't messing around now, huh? Looks like there's a lot of animals over here, so we've just befriended four or five. It's just going to keep going up exponentially at this point. Wrong button. Watch our heat. All right, so what are we up to? 13 in just that one run. Guess what? Let's see if that helps any. Let's find out. I don't think we can refriend them, but I'm going to try. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I know about the superheated rainstorms. Twenty-two. Oh, it did work. Good deal. So that's what you have to do. Do it again. Make them come back. Look at that. Works like a charm, so now you know what to do. And we're almost there. We're literally too shy. One more, one more. Come on. There we go. Look at that. Easy peasy. That's how you do it. A couple shots will get them to um, run away. And then if you feed them again, you can refriend them. And it counts towards everything. So, so there you go. All right. No, I'm not picking up the pod. Don't worry about it. I got plenty of that garbage in my inventory anyway. <laughs> All right. And off we go. So, shall we go ahead and check out that uh, monolith? What is that? The Sentinel Pillar, of course. Not monolith. Pillar it is. So hopefully that helps everybody out. Hopefully nobody has to worry about getting attacked the whole time. But, you know, checking out the monolith will give us a chance to... Or the pillar, I should say. It'll give us a chance to check out whatever tool might be in there. So, not bad. Could have probably completed this mission a lot quicker, but, eh, no big deal. So, we wanted to talk a little news, too, so... I am, I am just terrible flying tonight. Okay, let's try this again. This guy's supposed to be able to hover, and he's not hovering. And I don't need any more Pugnium, so I'm not going to worry about getting any out of the pillars there. Let's just see what we got in here. Now, if you haven't done these nodes before, you can access the logs and it goes through a storyline. And you can complete the storyline and you get a, another title added to your title list. So, not a bad idea. Let's see what kind of weapon we got here. Uh, Ugg. Not a very good left weapon at all. It does have a paralysis mortar on it, so if you don't have one, you can get one. But, eh, not worth my time. Uh, let's log off. Okay, good deal. Let's go ahead and recharge while I'm thinking of it. All right, so we're in good shape here. That should take care of this mission. So let's talk a little bit, shall we? As we leave our planet and go up to the anomaly. Uh, hopefully that'll keep things going for them for a while. Anomaly, here we come. So, yeah, channel's going to be changing a little bit. I am going to be doing mostly No Man's Sky. I do have some games coming up that I'm going to be playing uh, as well. If some of you didn't already know, we do a little bit of Minecraft. That's mostly a family hour that we play, or hour or two. Uh, me and my son do a little father-son duo type thing, and then we do an entire family. So it's myself and all my kids together, which gets just crazy. Absolutely crazy. 
So, needless to say, it's uh, it's a lot of mayhem in, on the Minecraft side of things. But there is a game coming out very soon. I can't say too much more about it. I can't even give you the name on, of it because I'm under an NDA right now. But I can say that I am going to be highlighting that game as well and streaming it. So I look forward to uh, showing you all of uh, that one when the uh, closed beta comes up on it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, you're probably going to see some announcements from me here and there about it. So that'll be pretty cool to be able to do that and show you guys a little more about that game. Very relaxed style type of game that's enjoyable. So um, again, look forward to it and look forward to showing you that. Other games down the road, I don't know, we're thinking about, of all things, Stardew Valley might be one I might start doing. I haven't played it in a while. Um, we play a PC version of it, so I may do like the Major Cheaters version of it or something like that. But not this week, but I'm going to give you a calendar date. I'm not sure if it's next Friday or Saturday, which is going to be either the 28th that evening or the 29th that evening. One of those two evenings I'm going to be doing a live stream uh, for a few hours. And it's going to be your choice at whatever you want to see. I can do a permadeath run. We can do just fighting sentinels from planet to planet. We can do some kind of uh, base building if you like to do a sky base. Um, yeah, hi there, buddy. Uh, <laughs> good to see you. Uh, apparently, just wanted to check out the ship. So, um, so yeah, we can do a sky base. We can do some base building. I'm not really a big, big base builder. I don't do very, very well at that. But if there's something you want to see, let me know. Let me know in the comments of this video, too. Let me know in the comments on my channel, by all means. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and if you like what you've seen so thus far, and you like the content I'm putting out, by all means, uh, hit that subscribe button. And always hit the like button. It always helps us out. It helps out all the YouTube uh, content creators, uh, no matter what game you're interested in and what you like to watch. So really great, great time this evening, and I hope you all watched this video and enjoyed it all the way to the end. And if you did, again, hit that like button. Thank you very much. This is Elon Paul signing off, and I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, be kind in everything you do, and always be truthful in all things. Take care, everybody. Hey, everybody. Elon Paul here one last time. As you know, I just ended my video, and you saw the ending of it, and now you're seeing this, and you're thinking to yourself, what's going on? Well, I forgot to actually claim my prize from the Nexus, which I already did. Nothing special. You already know I'm going to get 1,800 Quicksilver out of it. But I found something out that in the Quicksilver vendor, which unfortunately there are three people here right now, um, trying to get away from these guys so I could actually... That, I almost had it. There it is. Well, let's check out what he's got for us. In the exotic department, we have five tiers of new items. We have a holographic blob, a holographic frigate, a holographic starship, a holographic multi-tool, and a holographic entire system that unlocks in five different tiers. Now, as we get more of those missions done, as you do more of the missions in the anomaly over here, and you'll notice I still have three more to go, because the one I did does not count. The Weekend Nexus one does not count towards those three missions. As you do these missions, as you, especially these here, where you get Quicksilver and stuff like that, as you do more of these, you contribute to the community research, which then keeps going up in tiers. And you can see we're currently at 27% to tier one. So once we get PS tier one, that piece, piece unlocks, then tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five. So we got five tiers of items that we can unlock, and these are just basically decorative items that you can put on your ship, on your base, anywhere you want. So that's pretty neat, and uh, look forward to getting some of those. So again, thank you for watching. I'm sorry, it kind of a, it looked like I ended it abruptly and then came back, but here we are. I hope you guys enjoy this, and it uh, looks like somebody's giving me AI valves. Uh, that's very, very nice. Um, considering the fact that I've already got uh, 4.1 billion credits in my inventory, like I really, really needed some um, some some AI valves worth quite a bit. But you know what? I'm probably going to go ahead and gift them to this guy right here. He's perfectly fine. <laughs> so, but thank you very much. That was a very nice thing to do. Hunter DLP. Q, it looks like QLB DLP. Very, very nice. I appreciate it. But we're going to go ahead and take it from here. Exit our ship. Exit our facility. And we will see you all again another time. Again, hit that like and subscribe. And as we head through hyperspace, 
We'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.